Happy New Year and welcome back to my channel y'all. I'm Alex and I'm gonna be starting a series for you today. I decided that I wanted to go through the decades and draw period inspired clothes. And I started off with the 1870s. The piece we're doing today is going to be based off of this girl here surrounded in the blue. She is dressed in a traveling outfit. The other woman in the red is more of an evening wear kind of outfit for the 1870s. The bustle in the back was really in, but when I was doing my research, I found a website called periodpaper.com, and it's this person who has a catalog of all these vintage wood carvings and prints and all this stuff, and I found this 1870s traveling outfit. And when I was doing some research, I found out that Yellowstone National Park was established in 1872, so I figured, why not? It fits the time, and maybe she was one of the first people to go hiking up there. As for this whole series, I plan on doing one piece for every decade from 1870 to 2020, because who knows if it will be 2020 by the time I get to the end of this series. However, I'm going to be doing period accurate music for every single one of them. So from the 1870s to the 1920s, you guys will be getting a lot of ragtime and jazz. So I hope y'all don't mind I'm taking a divergence from my usual chip tune electric pop whatever the heck you call genres that include synths all that stuff honestly i don't mind the ragtime it reminds me of old middle school band if anybody remembers root beer rag and no i'm thinking of the popcorn rag i hated that song it was the song where at your part designated by your seating arrangement you had to jump up, play your part, and then sit back down. Right after I got my braces, I slammed my clarinet into the music stand. typography yet. I'm still very much learning, but the font that I'm basing this 1870 logo off of is called Kismet, and it was first created in 1879, and that's another thing that I'm going to have throughout this series. I'm going to have a font from somewhere in the decade at the corner of each piece. Let me tell you, you don't expect how many weird fonts came out of the 1800s. And I found all of these fonts on identifont.com. Maybe go check it out if you're curious. It's really fun to see what kind of fonts came out in your birth year. 1996. I'm looking at you, P22 Suzanne. You're not the worst, but you're also pretty bad. fun messing around with the design of this dress. I took some liberties with it. An actual traveling dress probably wouldn't have all of the ruffles at the bottom that was more commonly seen in um, evening wear. And if any of my fashion is incorrect, I'm very sorry about that. I'm a geology student, so this kind of time is a little bit shallow for me but it's been a really fun foray into a different subject matter. 
One of the things I don't think is entirely accurate about this piece is that this woman is a young adult, and the hairstyle that I have her with was most commonly when I found it, it was on children's advertisements. So maybe it's a little bit too youthful of a hairstyle, but I wanted an excuse to draw it because I can't remember the last time I drew double braids.
this was the most nerve-wracking thing of this entire piece. Mostly because this gray is actually an acrylic ink and not a watercolor. That's why it does that weird splotchy thing when I left it to dry when I shouldn't have. But, you know, mistakes to fix later. But all of the lines that I set down for the plaid are the final thing. I couldn't, like, wet it down and fix it later. So that was nerve-wracking. Later on when I do the black lines that you can't really even tell are black, I started with these lines here. I started with black acrylic ink on my brush, but then I decided, wait, I have thick black markers and pens, so I'm gonna use those instead. But the plaid ended up becoming my favorite part of this entire piece. Which, I'm not surprised because if it were a color, plaid would be my favorite color. see in the top corner is actually the first attempt of this piece. I originally filmed this a couple weeks ago, but I decided I didn't like the outcome of that one. It's just too saturated, and I also didn't like how the plaid at the bottom turned out. I think the attempt in this one was much better. They're both still good pieces, however, for starting off the series, I wanted to make sure that I wholeheartedly enjoyed the final outcome of the piece. And also, I wanted them to all be in this more realistic chin style, because it doesn't look as awkward as the without a line chin style that I did the other one in. Why don't we compare the original one I did to the new one? Before. After. Before. After. I really do like both pieces, but this one is superior just for the sake of how good that plaid turned out, and I think she looks really youthful and like she's having one heck of a time out in Yellowstone. I hope you guys enjoyed this piece and stick around for the rest of the decades. Subscribe if you'd like, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.